John here. Electricians need to know. Uh, today we're going to install a receptacle on my workbench. My little workbench is in the house because it's a little chilly outside yet. So anyway, uh, let's get this video started. Okay, there's my first three-way switch. It is right here. It's for my hallway light. Okay, and my second three-way switch. This is my little workbench. As you can see, it's a mess right now. But I repair lamps right here because it's winter and I... Uh, would like to repair lamps in the warm air so there is uh, the three-way switch now I have two hot travelers coming in and and then uh, power going out to the lamp so um, and there is a neutral in that box uh, because there's neutrals in all the three-way boxes in this house okay and the receptacle the box cover all right so anyway, there's our shark. Now, there's a couple of little tricks. Uh, one thing is this drill bit. You can get it at Home Depot. They're two or three bucks. Um, they're 18 inches long. They're great for seeing what's behind the wall. Now, I've fired a few electricians for not using this properly because they, they opened up a wall and uh, there was a little touchy, that switch is a little touchy. And there was a pipe or gas line or a water line behind it. And they didn't see it. They didn't feel it. So that's unforgivable. I guess you can forgive them a couple of times. but So there's a stud either here or a stud here. And the way to find that is you stick this in here and you push it back in there and of course there's no stud in that one because I didn't find a stud so obviously there's one there okay yeah I can feel the stud right there <coughs> okay you gotta be careful you don't want to hit that hot wire so anyway there is a nothing here on the way back alright I want to make sure by going back in like that over over say so this area over here is empty as I can see okay so it, it's easier the first thing you want to do is draw a picture of where your switch is going to be and your receptacle so you're going to do that I'm going to do that and down here Okay, so there you go. You can see the outline of, so you can use this to cut that in real easy. <laughs> All right, so I find that it's easier to do it this way than it is to start at one end because one end will break it off sometimes and this way you get it pretty even and out it comes there's there's some insulation in the house there we'll push that insulation over out of the way. Now the reason I cut this first before I take this out is it's going to be hard to get this box out if you don't have room to get it out. So it's easier to get that box out if you have room. So pull this out. There's our wires. So this, the black lead here on this black terminal that is your light so there we go all right 
So this, let's see, which one of those is hot? So we're going to use this, uh, find out which one of these is hot. So it is the red one that's hot. <coughs> and the reason we do that is I'm going to pull I'm going to pull the cover over the red one. Okay, now that's that's good. All right. So now we're going to loosen the box by Wow. we don't need this box anymore all right there's our wires okay now we take this new box we'll bring power in there and the switch leg in there Nice and tight. Okay, there's our switch box. All right. So we're going to set the box with these ears, capture this box. So now the box is dead in there. It's locked in really good. Okay. So now we're going to wire our receptacle. This is our neutral. This neutral goes to here and then out. There we go. The two neutrals go in there and then go back out to the light. The grounds, and we got two grounds in there and this ground for the receptacle. And all three are going into this wire nut. Twist it on. Okay. So this ground this ground would go on this receptacle. I need to bend that around a hair more. Nice and tight on the ground. We know that the output of this needs to go to the input of the receptacle. So we have a little wire right here. Alright, it'll go into this receptacle. Alright, and we'll tighten these guys up. So this will go to the switch. Now we plug in the light. We want the switch out here so we can turn it on and off. All right. So I always like to turn on things with a switch rather than uh, plug by plugging them in and out. Okay. So this one is going to go where this little black terminal is for our output. Okay. 
So these other two terminals will be for these guys. Now we know the red one's hot, so we do the red one last. Now, if I wanted to, I could push the black one into this guy like that. So I can turn on and off the light. All right. So now I know this is dead. So I can go ahead and work with it. <coughs> and shove that in here. Okay, so now we have on, off, and this is hot, and that's neutral. All right. See how this fits. <sighs> All right, looks like we have a little little patch to make, but we can get that done pretty soon. All right. So this should be dead until you turn on the light. So we're done outside of cleaning up a mess and maybe putting a little spackling in that. Okay, all set. John here, electricians need to know. Now I have about 20 videos on YouTube that deal with mainly electrical issues. We have some uh, tying off ladders and protecting your toolbox and uh, things of that nature. But primarily I've been an electrician for 50 years and I'm trying to pass that on before I kick the bucket. So subscribe to my channel and uh, periodically I'll put on another video and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.